So in this question, an automobile can be considered to be mounted on four identical springs as far as vertical oscillations are concerned. The springs of certain cars are adjusted so that the oscillations have a frequency of 3.00 Hz. A. What is the spring constant of each spring if the mass of the car is 1450 kg and the mass is evenly distributed over the springs? B. What will be the oscillation frequency if five passengers, averaging 73.0 kg each, ride in the car with an even distribution of mass? Okay, so let's start off by writing our down our variable. So we have the frequency 3.00 hertz. I guess it's for part A. So we're trying to find the spring constant of each spring. So we have the mass of the car is equal to 1450 kilograms. So one quarter of the mass, which is because there's four springs. So we're going to take a quarter of the mass one for each, like the mass that's on each spring because it's evenly distributed, is equal to 362.5 kilograms. Five kilograms. So then we can calculate our angular velocity is equal to two pi times the frequency. And the frequency is three hertz. So this is equal to 18 0.8496 radians per second. Per second. So then we have omega, or angular velocity is equal to the square root of the spring constant. That's for one spring constant, sorry, over mass. So then we have k, the spring constant, is equal to angular velocity squared times mass. So we want to calculate the spring constant for one tire. We use the quarter mass. So you do k is equal to the 18.8496 squared times the quarter mass, 362.5 which gives us a very large number, 129 kilonewtons per meter. So for B then, we're trying to find out what the oscillating frequency is. So we can use the same formula. Angular velocity is equal to root K for M. So we'll just do this for, we'll just do the K and M for one tire. So that means the mass on one tire is equal to 362.5 plus 5 over 4 times the 73 kilograms. Point zero. So this is there's five people evenly distributed over four wheels. So this gives us 453, 453.75 kilograms. Kilograms. Okay, so then using that same formula, we'll just plug in the K value. We'll just plug in the keen value and give us an angular frequency of 
And as we know, angular frequency is equal to 2 pi times the frequency. So that means frequency is equal to the angular frequency. And for 2 pi, which is equal to 2.6 hertz. And hertz. That's the answer for the second one, B. And this is the answer for party.